Okay, here we go. Uh, that took all of like one minute uh, and chat figured it out. Um, so somehow in the course of, uh, you know, a couple days since I last played the game uh, and a couple of puzzles since I've had to interact with frogs, I forgot that I could interact with frogs. Um, this puzzle is actually like trivially simple. And I'm, I was right, at least, in that um, my approach was 100% entirely wrong. Uh, now, partially in my defense, every time that we have seen these elements before, um, the frogs respawn out of these pipes. As, as soon as the the frogs die, they come back. I'm not going to uh, uh, claim that, like, I thought that through and, and dismissed this as a possible solution, because I absolutely didn't. Um, but there there is some, like, really improper queuing going on, where um, that's, a, that's a game element that I've seen like the game has trained me to understand it. I feel like I understand it. Um, and then th this level doesn't do anything to, uh, to suggest to me that that element has changed, that the dynamics of this level are actually different than any of the other levels. Um, but they are in a, in a subtle way, but what turns out to be a fundamentally important way. Um, so, I, you know, I, part of that is um, this is what happens when you, uh, when you get stuck on what you think is a solution, right? Um, I, just, this is just from a player standpoint, from a player ex experience standpoint. Every player, I am certain, who has ever played a puzzle game uh, has has sort of run into this situation where you you think you know what the the correct answer is. This is actually kind of an optimization problem, right? We found a, a local minimum. We found a place where we could get closer to the solution of the puzzle to not the solution of the puzzle, but to the end point of the puzzle. Um, we got closer to it. Uh, by like distracting monster while we turn these keys. And, and so I was trying to find all ways to optimize that solution. How, what's the best way to distract monster while we turn these keys? Because I seem to be making progress when I do that. Um, but that local minimum is not the global minimum. That's not actually the, the correct solution. It's not the, the actual, you know, path of least energy resistance or whatever it's um now i was kind of like i was trying to i knew at some point that that wasn't right like that felt wrong at some point it, it felt like it wasn't making enough progress um and i just wasn't able to think outside the box enough to to figure out what the correct solution was this is also why it's sometimes enormously helpful to um, play puzzle games with other people. Uh, you know, there's kind of, I, I don't know, I feel like there's a step between um, looking up the solution to a puzzle uh, and um, sort of presenting it to another live human being um, who doesn't know what the answer is, but who can sort of see things differently than you do.
papa on a lola, se vodia se ta nu papo, tabali e sa, sa u vareia. Tato qui, Kiko. That's really good. This, the game does, um, these sort of emotional cutscenes really well uh, with a combination of music and uh, uh, and you know characters and um, we talked in the Q and A last time a little bit about the the language the fact that you know all of the characters are speaking um, I assume Portuguese. Um, so I'm thinking about that more consciously today, and um, I don't know. I, I think that it, it actually lends the dialogue some more impact um, because there is voice acting, but uh, it's not. There's this there's this weird thing where I'm hearing the the lines spoken. Um, and I'm getting sort of an emotional content from that, uh, but I'm getting a literal meaning from the written lines. Um, it's a, it's an unusual, um, you know, dynamic. It's an unusual situation to have to kind of those two channels of communication. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting, interesting. So, got it. Um, so what I'm understanding is that at some point, I think I'm squeezing anger out of uh, Monster. So I'm gonna have to get Monster angry, and then I'm gonna have to lead him down here. Uh, and somehow that'll be open up. And then if I can lead him down here and trap him in this lower part portion, then I can climb up these stairs cut open the, the you know, rope that binds that thing, and that's what's going to squeeze anger out of Monster. Um, I believe that this same pattern is repeated maybe in the four corners, uh, at least several times throughout this area. I'm going to, so there's a hint box, I'm not going to use it. See if I can do this without the box. Interesting. So I can I can do that. Can I? So I haven't seen any frogs. Um, maybe I don't need to get him angry. Maybe uh, maybe I just need to to squeeze him. It's unclear. I'm gonna try that first because I haven't seen a frog. So yeah, there we go. monster. Mm, mm, not quite right. Okay. I got this. I got this. No, 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 no. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Nope. Stay there. go around and I'm going to throw it. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this. Well, maybe he'll just stay there. Nope. Come this way. Come this way when you're done with that. There we go. Now he's pushed down. I haven't seen a way to make him angry, and so I'm going to assume that I don't need to. I'm just going to try this. Makes him angry. Ooh. And there is his anger. The 
This seems to be working. He's angry now, though. That's gonna make it harder, I think. When he's angry, he tends to chase after me. an obvious way to um, to move these blocks up and down. I think that this is now this is going to be like a gating situation where uh, I'm going to move these down and lure him into this pen and then raise them back up and then lower those ones down. Uh, so I expect there to be controls somewhere around here. There's sort of a white line in the ground, but I think that's a rendering error. I don't think that's um, part of the game. Um, so I'm, I'm a little surprised that the controls that I expect to exist for these uh, barricade things? Um, oh! Maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's right there. Can, what if... Can, you, can I get him to come... I just have to step on that. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. Oh god, no, this isn't gonna work at all. And it's on a timer. Okay, alright. Here we go. I can do this. It's a weird place to introduce a brand new mechanic though. Like those, these, these square blocks, the little square blocks that I have to step on, I've never seen before. He will chase me down elevation when he's angry. That's also something that I haven't seen before. Although that's less unexpected. Like that's more, um, that makes sense. Like thematically that makes sense. And so I was kind of expecting it. Um, but it is also something that I haven't seen before. I'm really surprised about the little squares, the little pressure plates. Um, cause that feels like something that, uh, they very easily could have introduced, uh, earlier in just an innocuous way. Uh, and I guess they look a little bit like the, um, the glyphs in the centipede puzzle, but not enough that uh, that I would automatically associate them with that. So um, I believe I can see that there's one more ring, there's one more level that I have to go up. So there should be one more, uh, one more of these puzzles, and it's the first one that I saw. Run faster than you, monster. I'm gonna run faster than you. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so this is another this is another like pen puzzle, and it's, it uses the same mechanic. So now I know this mechanic. Um, it's just it's oh god, it's weird that it was introduced to me in such a high pressure situation, right? The game is at the beginning at least it was so good at introducing elements to me in low pressure situations where I had plenty of time uh, and I wasn't feeling stressed out, I wasn't um, uh, excited like this. I, I could kind of like think logically, puzzle through, remain calm. I, I don't have that luxury anymore. Now I'm stressed out. Um, it's just a strange place to introduce a mechanic like that.
I got an achievement. Uh, you know. Love those Chivas. I think now I'm gonna get uh, Lula back. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! I got Lula back! That feels good. It feels good to be able to double jump again. Uh, I don't know that I can actually make it across. Oh god, okay. Maybe should have paid a little bit more attention, but that's alright worked out. Uh, these things appeared. I don't know what they are. Uh, possibly they're nothing. Strange, though. Um, that's a strange feature to, to sort of just appear. Um, I mean, it's in keeping with the, like, gradual increase of uh, unreality in the world. Um, it just seems like an odd sort of type and place for it. And they're regularly spaced. They must mean something. But I don't see anything in them. That was an interesting little glitch where, uh, I wonder if I can repeat it. Yeah, 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 he, he'll just sort of chase after me. Oh, and, you know, appropriately, I can't double jump while he's chasing after me. Um, all right, so my guess is that towards the entrance, uh, there will be a, um, like a trigger or something. Oh, ha! Huh, playing tag! That's an achievement that I like. Uh, I wonder if I got one for playing soccer. Oh dear. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That really looked like... Uh, that looked like some place that I could go. And it clearly wasn't. That was a mistake. Okay, so um, there's also these sort of... Oh yes, this is all clearly platforming. I need to platform. Uh, I need to find a way out. Shoot, I think the way out is over here. Oh god. Oh, I have further to go than I thought. Here we go. Okay, good. Safe. Trouble with having, uh, like, a big open space like this, especially one that has a lot of obstacles in the middle of it, uh, is that... Oh, and look at that. I went to the wrong place anyway. Uh, you know, it takes a long time to traverse it. Um, so it turns out that could have been really easy if I'd gone to the right place first. Um, which would have been much easier all the way around than what I did. I was kind of intrigued by the 
that glass thing that appeared in the ground. Um, which I think is just a red herring. Do not make me jump on that tire. Thank you. Okay. Oh god, this would have been so much easier if I'd had Lu uh, Lula the whole time. How many water tanks can you find? None? Lula. Ah, there's one. Lula. There's three of them. Ah, look at all these water tanks. I think there were water tanks in the, you know, secret door place that I found too. I think that's what those were. Uh, everything over here, everything over here. It's nice. So, um, it would have been possible, it would have been easy uh, to reset this level. In fact, no, I guess not. I guess, no. It would have been easy to have this actually be sort of like a separate instance of this space. Because the puzzle that I'm solving now is completely different than the puzzle that I solved before. Um, but it's not. Uh, you know, the changes that I made to this space are, are persistent. And so that, um, you know, that's, that's, as a player, that might be something that you expect. But it's not actually like a given from a game design standpoint, you don't, um, it's not necessarily the easiest way to put something like this together. Uh, and so it's nice that, that they did. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the secret door to buy myself a little bit of time to turn those keys. I think maybe I need to, um, like flood the area and that's gonna calm him down maybe I don't know oh dear god that wasn't great let's not do that again that didn't buy me as much time as I thought it would oh oh Jesus the camera again so I understand what's happening I understand why it's doing it um there are things in the game world, in the simulation space, that are uh, that it wants to continue to simulate, even as it sort of moves the camera out of my control in order to show me things that are important that are happening. Um, up until now, I have never been in a situation in this game where it was it mattered that i felt any need to move my character while the camera was outside of my control so i don't know whether or not in other instances in the game they turn off player controls while the camera is moving that's a typical thing to do i mean often uh you just like turn off all of those inputs so that while the camera is out of the player's control they can't move they're not going to walk off of a cliff or do something stupid um in this i think it's a little because they want monster to continue to move around even while the camera is moving um and maybe even they feel like it's important. I, well, I don't know. And it, like I said, maybe they don't do that. Maybe they've just never turned off the character inputs. Um, this is the first place that I've been where I have felt like it's been important for me to... Uh, oh, okay. So this is the first time that I felt that it's important for me to move, that I've felt an urgency to move, even if it's not actually important, that I've, you know, kept my fingers on the keys while the camera is doing its, like, fly-out thing. It's incredibly distracting because your whole sense of perspective changes. Uh, you, your tendency then is to not move in the direction that you want to move. Um,
It's a, you know, probably I could just learn to not press the buttons while the camera's moving. But it's a, it's a, it's something that you know isn't great polish. Do you think I can make this jump? Oh god, I hope I can, because otherwise, nope. That was not a good call. That was not a good call at all. Magic door, I think, is my best shot. Um, it's interesting that I very much feel... Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of time. I, why didn't I go through the magic door again? Um, I feel like my... I'm all about straight lines. If I can, if I can run, oh, god damn it. If I can run and got me. Like if I can run in a straight line without stopping, then um, then I'm okay. I'm like I'll, I can outrun him. But if I have to turn a corner, uh, he catches up. jump. Yeah. I can make that jump. Okay. Where are they going? They're flying somewhere. I'm gonna follow them. I'm gonna follow them and try to see where they're going. I think maybe they're building a tower. Over there. That I can manipulate, right? Okay, so this is a mechanic I've seen before. Although now I have no lateral movement. Uh, which is a little strange because that lateral movement was such a big deal the last time around. Um, we decided that I can't make that, right? I don't know what those platforms are for. Okay, I can maybe make this. It looks too far, and I'm scared. This monster's right there. Yes. Whew. Okay. Uh, oh, God, where do I go from here, though? Good. Maybe. Yeah. Ah, oh, God, I'm not sure if that's how I was supposed to do that, but I'm glad that it worked. That felt a little, um... It felt like I was cutting corners a little bit. I'm gonna go back up high again. High seems to be a position of strength for me. Um, I'm gonna try this. Uh, I'm gonna try this in the other direction. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. I'm getting a, like slightly more comfortable with um, some of the distances that I have to jump. Um, like I'm able to gauge that ever so slightly better, which is good. Um, because it's still occasionally, um, you know, looks a little misleading, and uh, I'm, I'm still having to do to make jumps that are, you know, kind of further than is super comfortable. Also, no. Okay. Oh god, no. Uh, this is gonna be awful. 
awful. I'm not, I'm never gonna get there. Okay. I, I, I guess maybe I could have jumped from there back onto this platform. Uh, I wish in some cases that, like it feels like I'm going out on these branches and then once I'm out on a branch, I, I can't get back to the like main trunk where then I can go somewhere else and I, I have to go down to, to where Monster is and that's um, frequently, difficult proposition uh, just because he is always immediately under me I think this is the last one. I can't. There's no way I can get up there. Oh no, in fact, it won't. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I think that that's all of the water towers, I believe. Uh, it was easier to get all of those water towers than it was to get all of the houses in the favela one. I'm still not sure what those platforms were for. I don't think I used them. Hmm. Giving monster a way through. Thank you for giving me the stairs right there and for showing them to me. Because uh, these are these are totally doable jumps and they're very clear where I'm supposed to go. But they're also totally failable. Like I, I could easily uh, jump too soon, um, or uh, if my aim was off or something, I could like I could just screw this up potentially. I know where there's a blue fruit, right? Oh no, there's not. That's super weird. That feels like, okay, so I can't tell if that's a mistake. It feels like a mistake. It could be intentional. Um, so there used to be a, a blue fruit, a rotten fruit, right up on that little corner. The light that they used to light the scene to draw attention to it is still there, but the fruit is gone. Um, Possibly that is uh, to emphasize the fact that there's no safety anymore. Like I, I uh, that's where I think my safety is. Um, but it's gone. And and look, let's highlight the fact that it's gone. Um, it's not clear to me though. It felt a little bit more like a. Uh, misplaced light. Um, so I've seen this symbol only once or twice, uh, but once was she showed me uh, that's the way to the shaman, uh, or the shaman was somehow associated with the symbol, so it's now telling me the shaman is this way. Which seems like overkill, because she's literally telling me that the shaman is this way. <laughs> Chocolate broken. Mm. So I need to distract monster and get the key. 
she goes. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I think we are right at the end of the game, so I'm gonna, I wanna finish this game. Um, I'm gonna take a, a quick break, um, just one or two minutes, and then uh, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do this puzzle and see what happens when we get to the shaman. All right? Uh, see you in a minute.